Sensory play. Woof, Jody. Hello, friends. Welcome to Wonder and Awe. I'm Jody. I'm Mila. And I'm Summer. We are going to see if you can guess what animals we have on the backs of our papers here. So here are some clues. This animal you can find underwater. It's really big and it blows air and water right at the top of its head out of a hole. It starts with the W. Woof, woof, woof. Can you guess what it is? Ah. If you said whale, you were right. Good job. Okay, Mila, what do you have? Yay! My underwater creature has eight legs. It's really big and it's really good at swimming. Hmm. Can you guess what it is? What letter? It's the O. Mm, I think I know. Hooray! Yes, octopus. You're right. Octopus. Okay, awesome. Okay, someone go ahead. This underwater creature is green. It has a shell on its back. Hmm, what should it be? It's green, it has a shell on its back. What letter does it start with? It starts with a T. I think I know. Me too. Do you know? What is it? It's a sea turtle. Sea turtle. Oh. Awesome. I love sea turtles. Okay, I have one more. Okay, this one swims underwater. It blows bubbles. It swims with a lot of its friends. Some people even have these as pets at home. What do you think it is? It starts with an F. What is it? Let's tell them. One, two, three, it's a fish. Okay friends, today this is our clue. We are going fishing. But we're not going fishing outside. We're gonna fish right inside our house and you can too. This is what you are going to need for today's activity. You are going to need a piece of a baby tile that we use on the ground, one of those foam baby tiles, a pair of scissors, a paper clip, a permanent marker, a piece of string, a stick, and a magnet. Yay! The first step is you're gonna use your scissors and you're gonna cut out the shape of a fish on your baby tile that looks like this. The next step is you're gonna use your marker and you're gonna draw an eye, some fish gills, the fin, and a nice happy fish smile. Then, a grown-up is going to use the sharp part of a scissor and poke a hole right on top of the fish. And in that hole, you're going to take a paper clip and put it right inside that little hole. So it looks like that. Then you're going to take a stick that you find outside or any stick you have at home, tie a string, to that and then a magnet at the bottom and you can use a fridge magnet it will work just fine and the magnet is gonna stick to the paper clip and that's how we're going to fish welcome to our go fish challenge you guys can do this at home too you just set up your Tupperware with your fish and your water and we have some special challenges that are gonna keep it super fun we are going to start off and Summer is going to choose a challenge. So I'm going to pass this off to you guys. So Summer, go ahead and choose your challenge. It says use your mouth to fish. Use your mouth to fish. Oh my goodness. Okay. Do you have a fun fact to share on your fish? Yes. Okay, read it out. 
there are over 30,000 species of fish. 30,000 species of fish? That's a lot of fish. Okay, Mila, you're gonna choose your next challenge. Blindfolded. Okay, she has to cover her eyes and go blindfolded. Oh, blindfold. No! Okay, so Mila is fishing blindfolded. Let's see, can you do it? <laughs> we'll tell you when you've caught something. No, keep trying. It is in the water. No, it isn't. Oh no, almost. Get it? No. Now? Nope. Okay, we'll let you use one hand. Try with use the other hand to help you out. Try to find the fish with the other hand. Okay, you can't grab it though. You can't grab it. Oh, she got it! Do you have a fun fact? Okay, no fun fact on that one. That's okay. Okay, Summer, you're up next. Spin around and fish Disney. Uh-oh. Okay. How many times did she spin? Three times. Four times? One. Uh-oh, are you dizzy? Yeah. All right, let's see if she can get her fish. Balance yourself. Get your fish. You got it! <laughs> okay, do you have a fun fact? Yes. It says fish like to talk in low squeaky sounds that humans cannot hear. Cool. She has to use her toes to fish. That is so silly. Could you do that? like to hug too. Okay. Let's let's make it harder. You have to get three fish out in five seconds. What? Are you ready? Okay, go. Go. One. Count with me. Two. Three, four, she got one fish, five, two fish. Okay, you got two fish in five seconds. You almost got it. Any fun facts to share? Oh, there's one fun fact. It says, oh, I don't. Okay, there's no fun fact. No fun fact for that one, okay. Okay, Mila is going to do the five second challenge. She's gonna try to get three fish in five seconds. All right, Mila, go, one. Two, three, four, five. Oh, oh, you, oh, okay, we'll give it to you, we'll give it to you. <laughs> Any fun facts on those fish, Mila? Okay, let's see this. Fish breathe through gills that cover their body. Oh, fish breathe through gills on their bodies. Guys, now I'm gonna try to fish with my toes. Let's see if I can do it. Oh no! Oh no, it's not hurting no more. Ah! <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> I yes! Got it. And there's no fun fact. Oh, 
fun fact on this one. I hope you guys had fun fishing with us today. We are going to throw these fish back into the water because we want to make sure that they're happy and enjoying the water. I hope you guys have a great day. Stay curious, stay crafty, and keep a sense of wonder and awe in all you do. Let's see if you can remember the fun fish facts that we gave you today. Yay! Fish breathe through what part of their body? Do you remember that one? Hooray! They breathe through their little gills. And that way they don't have to come up for air. They can stay in the water and breathe through their gills. All right, we're gonna put this little guy back into the pond. There are how many species of fish? Can you remember that really big number? Can you remember? Ah, uh, 30,000. That's a lot. All right, let's put him back in the pond. Fish like to talk in the water. What sound do they make? Do you remember? You do? If you said low squeaky sounds, you were right. All right, let's put this fish back in the pond. Fish like to rub against each other. What does it mean when they're rubbing against each other? Ah! That means that they're giving each other hugs. So if you see fish rubbing up against each other, it means that they're hugging. Ah! All right, let's put him back in the pond. What are fish covered with that help them move through the water? Do you remember that one? Is it lotion? <laughs> Is it cream? <laughs> if you said slime, you're right. They're covered in slime to help them move through the water easily. All right, let's put him back in the pond. Jojo fun! Oh ho! Oh arr! Swabby lobby pirate <laughs> Argyle here. How are ya? Shiver all your timbers, me little old mateys. Ha <laughs> ha! It's great to see y'all. Are y'all there? Yay! Let's have a little look-see. Oh! So fine to see ya. You. You're all there. Well, hello there. Hello, and welcome ye all to our playtime fun. Yippee! With Jojo, maybe she might just drop by and lend your lovers. <laughs> what I want to talk to you today all today about there are all them animals under me ship. Yeah, when I'm sailing the seas, floating the rivers and lakes, Sometimes when I look down over the deck, I can see them little critters down there swimming around, doing their thing, being all fishy and stuff. 
Oh yeah, there's all kinds of critters down there. Under the water. Uh. Underwater animals. Oh, me mateys. Shiver me tip. Oh, I hear. Listen, everybody. I hear a shiver me. Ooh. Oh, it's Jojo. Hey, Pirate Argyle. Hey. How are you? How are you, Jojo? I'm doing really well. Great hey. to see you. It's great to see you. As <gasps> and have a look. Oh, my goodness. Look over yonder on the horizon. Oh, I see. Hello, New my destiny. Friend. And all of our hey! land loving friends. I Arr. think they all see worthy shipmates, don't you, Pirate Argyle? Can I have a look? Yeah, have a look see. Oh, arr, they're so big! I know, they're fabulous! Look at all them! Oh, hello, friends! Hello! Hello, everybody! It's such an exciting day. I'm so glad that you're here. Yes, it's great to be here. I'm on an adventure. I'm always on an adventure looking for me treasure. Oh, that is true, aren't you? And uh -huh. I was just telling all of our boys and girl friends yes. over here yes. that I'm always on the lookout for animals. Animals? Well, I like can't giraffes? help giraffes? Uh, hmm. Mm, well, you see, Jojo, Yes. I'm a seafaring kind of guy. A pirate, oh. you call me. So Captain Argyle. You see animals? Oh, arr. Oh. I see the sea animals. You see sea animals. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, that's right. You just walk the plank, look down over Marching the deck. The plank. And when you look down into the water, yes. you can see the critters oh. in the water. Oh, I see the sea. Yeah. Ooh, the waters have animals in them? There's all kinds of animals. Oh. All kinds of critters down there. Wow, what do you see? Well, I see lots of slippery looking silvery things down there that are fishes. Fish? Boys and girls, do you know what Pirate is talking about? There's lots of fish in the sea! There's fish in the Come sea! Come ye all with me! <laughs> and we can see the fish in the sea together sea as sea. one. Captain Argyle here. And I will be your ship's first mate. Or... I could be a sailor too. Come and explore the sea. Oh, oh and the lakes. The and lakes. the rivers. Oh, do you sail the lakes and the rivers as oh, well? Or me shiver me timbers. I like to sail the lakes and the, the rivers of Canada. Canada. Oh, full of fish. Oh, full of fish. What kind of fish are in our lakes? Bass. Bass. Like boom, 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 boom. No, no. What? It's a fish name. Oh, it's a fish name. Not, oh. not, not like the musical bass. I'd like to find a fish, a and, bass and, and fish. Pike. Pike. <gasps> Could you imagine seeing a pike underwater? That would be just so delightful. Sometimes, if you're lucky, you can see them from the surface, but otherwise. You gotta dive in. I don't do that, by the way, boys and girls. So you have to basically. I can't swim. Your arms like this. I think so. And dive yes. into the water. Yep. But how do we see underwater? Good question, Dodo. Will my glasses help? Um. I have sea glasses, don't I, boys and girls? Well, yes. <laughs> they look very sea pretty. Yes, they are very pretty. But I don't think you can see in the sea with those there glasses. Oh no. Well, uh, but you I think you need special ones. I put these on so I could find a star. Oh. Maybe you and our friends at home can help me find a starfish. They're saying they can. You can? They're, they're adventurers. Oh, yay! They're kind of like pirates out there. They would there. love to help Searching us. Searching for the treasure. Oh, that is so amazing, boys and girls, because Searching I've been for the looking animals. all morning for a special starfish. Oh, arr, me matey. But I can't find one. No. But and I you know what else you might find if you look hard enough down uh -huh. there? Do you know what that is, Jojo? Oh, I think I do. It's something that has a lot of legs. A lot of legs. Are they arms or legs? Arms or legs? I, I, I think they might oh, be arms. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, you tell me. They're tentacles. Tentacles? I think so. Can we find one in our lake? You know what? I don't think so. Why not? I never seen one in the lake. Oh, I see. Only on the seven seas. Seven seas. You know what, Jojo? Yes. Some of the animals that live there in the sea, uh -huh. they don't venture into yonder lake. 
Why not? It would be great to see an octopus in the lakes and the rivers, wouldn't it, boys and girls? Maybe! But maybe when you're paddling, you get all caught up in the octopus tentacles. When you're by the cottage at the oh. lake. Actually, do you know what? I remember something really special about lakes and seas that make them different. Oh. Do you want to know what it is? Are they round? Well. Are they long? They are long. What are? They are round. What are? The sea? What I'm getting it? confused here. So, so, you see the sea. When I'm on yonder sea, I can see for miles and miles, and there be no land off in the distance. So they are huge. Absolutely huge. Oh, well, that they is go another on for difference. like ever. So seas are huge, but I think they taste different as well. Oh. Have you ever gone swimming in the sea, Pirate Argyle? No, I can't swim, but I've tasted the water of the sea when she splashes onto deck and we swab her. You swab the deck. Or landlubbers. Or and there's a salty taste to everything. Oh, salty water. Or the whole deck gets covered in the salty flavor and it blows when it dries. And there's salt everywhere. But that's not the same with lakes and rivers, is it? No, there's no salt in the lakes and rivers. Oh, isn't you know, that interesting? You know, you know what they call it, uh -huh. Jojo? Uh -huh. Fresh water. Fresh water makes me thirsty. I could almost drink this whole glass of Oh, Jojo, wait, uh -huh. wait, yes. wait. Have a look in your glass. Oh, oh there's oh. some underwater animals in there, Jojo. Oh, my goodness, boys. This is wonderful. Girls. We can have a look and see what lives in the sea. Or is it in the lake? Well, you know what? Yeah. I found this fish and this starfish and this crocodile in salty water. This would have been really salty. Wow. Yeah. Shall I show you what's inside my fish tank? Oh, you got a fish there. Oh, I got a fish. Oh, look at that ah. little yeah, friend of isn't ours. He's a delightful boys and girls. That's a fish. And I've also got a starfish. We've been looking for a starfish. Have oh, you, you found a starfish, Jojo. I did. And you know what, Jojo? Yes. I forgot to tell you. Uh -huh. You got one on your glasses as well. Oh my goodness, I didn't see it. We, we could all boys see it. And girls, the boys and girls see could it. see it. And I... we could all see it on your glasses. But Jojo couldn't see it because she's looking through uh, her I'm glasses. I'm looking right through and I wouldn't be able to see them at all. How looking many... through the hook. How many points does a starfish have? Mm. Shall we count? That's a good point. A good point. <laughs> one, two, two. their starfish. That is amazing. But hey, Pirate Argo, I really want to go swimming and see more fish and more sea creatures that live underneath the water. I would love, I would love to be able to swim, but I think the boys and girls, a lot of them can probably swim. And oh, I bet they're very good swimmers. Indeed. Join you under there and have a little look and see what's under the water. See what's in the sea. But Jojo. Oh, yeah. How do they all stay down there? I always think those little fishes, they must be just gasping for a breath. Oh, that is a very good question indeed. But I suppose like us, we live above the water and we can breathe. Maybe they can breathe out of the water? Oh, that's amazing. Yes, isn't right? it? So they're specially built to sort of breathe under the water. Yes, they are wow. indeed. That's I'd, incredible. I'd love to find, if the boys and girls would like, something that lives under the sea. But in order to do that, we need to discover <gasps> what's inside. You my... got a box. Is that a present for your birthday? It is indeed. It's a present for my birthday. I get lots Happy of Happy birthday, presents. Jojo! Actually, it's all of our surprise because we love to share our daily surprise, don't we, Pirate Argyle? You're going to share with all the boys of and girls? Of course I am. Look at all those beautiful I boys and know. girls. They're Hello, so excited. Friends. They're going to share with you. Oh, wonderful. Your present. Do you want to see what's inside the special box? I do. I do. I do. Oh, I so do I. I, I do. I think this is going to be grand and it will help us in our adventure to discover more underwater animals. Maybe there's some more slithery, slimy critters in there. Ooh. What do you got, Jojo? Are these? 
Oh. Oh my goodness, these are gonna help me to see underwater. That's not an underwater animal, Jojo. No, it is not, but these are called goggles. Oh. And they'll help us see underwater. Shall those, we try them on? Those there be special glasses for you. To oh. wear underwater. What do you think? <laughs> Very fetching, Jojo. Oh my goodness, I think I have to take the plunge. Yeah, Should you I gotta walk wa the plank? Walk the plank and walk dive on in there. I'm gonna go walk the plank. You're gonna walk go for a dip. Plank. I gotta prepare for a deep dive into the sea. Ahoy, matey! She walking the plank and diving in to the water to see what underwater creatures there may be. Or. <laughs> She's coming up for air, boys and girls. Oh, hello, hello, boys and girls. Hello, Jojo. What did you find? Did you find any underwater animals? I did indeed, boys and girls. Would you like to see what I have found? I would. I have I found see. this. Ah! Have you seen one of these before? I've seen one of those before. I'm a bit afraid of those critters down there. This is called a stingray. That there tail. That's where it gets its name from, isn't it, Jojo? Yes, it can sting from there. But otherwise, these guys float on the bottom of the ocean floor. They swim along down there. Yes, they do. In shallow waters, you can look down and yes. sometimes see them down there. That's where I found him. I should put him back. Whoop! <sighs> put him back in the water before he runs out of... But can I see him just for a second oh, there? Wanna I want to I wanna just see if he can fly. <laughs> oh, I think he can. Can you pick him up and show the boys and girls? Ooh. It looks like he has wings on the side. Yes. And when I see him in the water, it's kind of like he's flying with those there oh, wings. Oh, I see what you mean. The yeah. water underneath his wings makes yeah. him float. Oh, isn't it fabulous to be an animal underwater? Yeah. You can be like a shark. <gasps> Let's pretend to be sharks. <gasps> what do you think, Pirate Argyle? Did yes. you say shark? I did. Shark! Woo! Shark! It's Look okay. out, everybody! Shark! Jojo saw a shark! It's okay. Quick! Everybody, I'm, run! I'm saying, wait, Pirate Argyle, come shark! back! Shark! <laughs> shark! <Pirate>. Shark! <laughs> come back! Come back! Is it okay? It's okay. I Is was, the coast clear? I was saying that's pretend to be sharks, right, boys and girls? Oh! Yes. You were pretending? Yes! I'm I love pretending. Pretend. What you need to do. Is you have to hold your hands like this, boys and girls, out straight in front of you, like you're going to make big jaws, and you are going to clap like this, and pretend that you are a shark underwater. You don't look anywhere near as scary as a shark, Tokyo. <laughs> well, I'm glad. I don't want to look too scary, otherwise you'd run away again. <laughs> Sharks are big, big critters in the sea. And yeah, they have lots and lots of teeth, don't they? Never seen one in the lake. Oh, no, that's nope. true. Just in the sea. And you know and you know what else I've uh, seen in the sea? Yes? The most massive animal of all. A massive animal in the sea? A whale. Oh, I thought you were going to say elephant. You know what? The whale uh -huh. is kind of like an elephant in the water. Oh, yes? Massive. Oh. Huge. Ooh. It doesn't have one of those things out of its nose like the... Elephant does the uh, the uh, long thing. Trunk. No, it doesn't have a trunk. It doesn't no. have a trunk. No, 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 no. Is it bigger than the elephant? Or some of them are probably the size of four or five elephants. I oh think. Oh my goodness! Can you imagine that with your imagination, boys and girls? I've seen them. You have. I've seen them. You've seen them. I've seen the whales almost the same. Size. The same size as the ship. Oh my! But goodness. you know what? What's that? It's time to go. It's time to go, my friends. Time oh. to say goodbye. Say bye, everybody. Safe sailing, everybody. Safe sailing. Enjoy exploring underwater animals with your friends and your family and, of course, us. Bye-bye, everybody. Ahoy! Ahoy! Captain Margyle and Jojo saying toodle-pip hurrah. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye-bye.
about all about underwater animals. Can you think of some wet animals that live in the ocean and the sea? Did you say fishies and octopus and sharks and whales? Great job. We're going to be singing about all of those today. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to sing our hello song. Can you sing it with me? So these are the actions you're gonna do while I play the guitar. So we say, listen to the water, listen to the water, rolling down the river. Listen to the water, listen to the water, rolling down the river. Great, and we're gonna see all kinds of underwater animals in the river. Are you ready? Do those actions. Listen to the water, listen to the water, rolling down the river. Listen to the water, listen to the water, rolling down the river. Okay, let's do some fishies. Ready? Some of these guys. Fishies. I saw some fish by the water. Blub, 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 by the water side. Blub, 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 by the water side. Saw some fish by the water side. Blub, 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 by the water side. Blub, 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 by the water side. Again, cut those hands behind the ear. Listen to the water, listen to the water.
song. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is all about fishies. Okay, so I'm gonna take out my blue fishy here. And I'm gonna take out my, what color is that fishy? Can you see? Yeah, he's orange and yellow. And he's gonna swim across the screen. Say bye bye fishy. Okay, so this song is this song is called One, Two, Three, Four, Five. Once I caught a fish alive. So can you count with me one, two, three, four, five on your hands? And ready? We go one, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I threw him back again. Yay! Good job. Then the second verse goes, why did you let him go? Because he bit my finger so much. Ah. Finger did he bite? Where's your right hand? Wave high with your right hand. This little finger on my right. Oh no, is your finger okay? Yay! I think it's okay, right? <laughs> okay, so let's try that. And I'm gonna play guitar. Well, you guys sing along. So can you count with me on your hands? Or your toes, can you count with your toes? <laughs> if you can count with your toes, count with your toes, okay? Ready? Let's do our, can you do a fishy face? Good job. Okay, so let's try one, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Ready? Get those fingers out. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a Take out my blue pink 
my blue and pink fishy this time. Okay, here's my fishy. It goes like this. I'm a fish. Watch me go. I swim fast and I swim slow. When the sharks, here's my shark. Oh no! When the sharks come out, I dare not play. I dive down deep. Away. Oh, that fish is running fast, swimming fast because he's scared of Mr. Sharky. Ah! Mr. Mr. Sharky? <gasps> ah, Mr. Sharky, don't bite me. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, let's put him down. I'm going to sing a song next, and I want you all to sing with me. I think you all might know it. It's all about my friend, Mr. Shark. So in this song, we have a baby shark, and we have a grandma shark, and we have a mommy shark, and we have a daddy shark, and we have a grandpa shark. Okay, so show me all the actions, because I know you know it. Let's see you dance, ready? my friend, the octopus, and he actually matches my shirt today. See, my octopus. Do you guys know how many tentacles an octopus has? Yay! See, he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and he should have another one here because octopus have eight tentacles. Can we all pretend we're octopus in the water? Good. Yeah, wiggle those arms. So this is a poem. And for this poem, I want you guys to tap the beat like this. We go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Ready? It goes like this. Once I saw an octopus in the deep blue sea. Your turn. Once I saw an octopus in the deep blue sea. I called Mr. Octopus, won't you swim with me? Your turn. I called Mr. Octopus, won't you swim with me? And came out his tentacles, so very long and straight. Your turn. Came out his tentacles, so very long and straight. Now take out your hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Everybody say it with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hooray! Good job, Mr. Octopus. And let's put him down. 
in our laps. Okay, friends, well, it's time to say goodbye. I had such a great time with you today, learning all about our underwater animals. Can we all wave our bye-bye hands? It's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Yes, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Well, it's time to say goodbye. Wave your hands up in the sky. It's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Good job. And we're going to say peace. We say love. And keep on singing. You want to say goodbye to all of our friends? Bye, fishy. Let's say bye, shark. Bye-bye. Bye, octopus. Until next time, bye. Sisters. Hi guys, welcome back to Rock Paper Sisters. And today we're going to show you all about underwater animals. <laughs> underwater animals. My name is Maya. And my name is Noah. Before we get started, we want to show you the animals that we are going to be talking about. Dolphin. So, about Noah, do you want to talk about dolphins? Yes. But I need to talk about whales. Well, everyone's got to kill the dolphin. Yeah, kill the dolphin. Yeah. Did dolphin. you know that dolphins can eat sharks? Wow! And they also, when they see ice and there's a dolphin, they bam into the ice and they eat the creature. And when when dolphins eat whales, they become into a killer whale to like eat the sharks and bam! Yeah. And did you know the dolphin is the largest fish in the whole entire world? world. And, and did you know it's bigger than a dinosaur? No, the whale is bigger. Like, yeah. It's really big. No, it's like the, the whale is this long and, it, and it's this long. Yeah. <laughs> and I want to show you about um, clownfish. Clownfish. And clownfish are really pretty. So clownfish, when they are born, born, they are like uh, they have like a shell. Beautiful. And at the end, it's like a nice, really beautiful color. Beautiful. And when they go older, they they open the shell and then they turn white and it's and so beautiful. pretty. And it is so pretty, the clownfish. And the clownfish has a name that we, we call it that we are going to tell you. It's a little bit of a surprise because we love the clownfish in our house. But my mom is not going to let us get a clownfish. <laughs> And here is our mom! Hi. Hi everybody! Welcome back! Thank you so much for joining us. And as we already mentioned, we're going to be talking to you about 
underwater sea creatures. And remember I said there's a surprise with the clownfish name. Yeah, so we have already um, decided what our favorite underwater sea creature is. If you know what yours is, please comment, comment down, down below. below. And give this video a big thumbs up, 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 up if you like underwater sea creatures. Sea creatures. Yes. So a fun fun fact, Noah was whispering before. I don't know if you quite heard her, but the word she was whispering about the orca, which is a nickname for dolphins, she was saying that they're so big that they're as big as, say it louder so they can hear you at home. And they're so pretty dolphins. They're black. Pretty, pretty, and what pretty, color is pretty. their eye? It's actually mm. not their eye. It's the spot right beside their eye. So it's Mama, black and can I, white. white. Can I tell you something super cool? The white isn't the eye. It's white in front of the That's white. That's right. So, that is super cool. The eye is camouflage. So boys and girls. So and I'm also, see. dolphins, yeah, they sing. Remember? Yeah. They sing to each yeah. other. Yeah. My pretend eyes you're a dolphin and you're a dolphin? I'm the baby. You're the baby dolphin? Very, very nice. And now Now you talk to us. Wait, and like do you, do you know like the size of your eye? You already know that, but it shows I'll explain it. Like say there's a thing and it's shiny excited, like shows a little bit of a shadow and you might even see it on yeah, the eye. Yeah, their eye is so little. And everyone thinks that the big white spot around the dolphin is their eye, but it's not. It's a little, little one. That's so now we're going to move one. on to what Maya was talking about. Yeah. Clownfish. I'm so excited to talk to you about clownfish. Can you tell us, friends at home, if you remember where you saw, what movie that you saw clownfish in? Clownfish. 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 Do you remember Clownfish. those beautiful, bright, striped yeah, and they had like a little white oh, inside. And there was a very hard word that was so hard to pronounce where they live. And it's a surprise you, so you are to tell me right can now. Can you at home guess what it is? Where the clownfish live? It's nope. a very, very hard word. Get ready. You are close. It starts with an A. It's called the anemone. underwater creature theme with bread, strawberries, blueberries, and we have cream cheese, 
and icing sugar. That's it, that's all you need, simple. And let's have fun and get started. Which one are you gonna be making, Maya? Duck. I'm going to be making the dolphin. I'm gonna make a fish, but not the same, cause so boys and girls, if you're old enough, like my mom, you have to cut the piece of the dolphin. So please. You definitely you need a parent for this. You cannot do this on your own. You gotta yeah, ask. Yeah, but can I just help you make well, sure? Well, it's a little, hard. it's a little hard. This okay. one, it's a little like rough on the top, so you cannot do this at home. You do need a parent. I hope I do this right because Maya's uh, uh, Maya's daddy and mommy. Uh, sorry, uh, um, <laughs> Maya's daddy. He's the one who did it. He made it because, as you can see, I'm like having trouble here myself. <laughs>
So don't be shy to snack along as you're making your project to enjoy but each other's it's company. Cool, but good. Mama, look at them great. So for my yeah. idea, you want to take a bigger piece and a little bit of a smaller piece. And this is what mine is. Put the frosting of the, on the end of the big piece. And then, can you help me when I'm doing it? So I'm going to like make a mind. little beak and then an oh. eye and then a little wave and then a little tail. That's what I'm doing. Sure. But the strawberry doesn't look good. It looks like a little bird. You want it to like, you're making a fish? Yeah, a fish. Okay. A fish. I'm going to move you over back. So. So what are you making, Maya? I'm making a clownfish. And then a clownfish. Mm -hmm. Can I make it a little bit different? Sure. So you want to put icing sugar? So if it doesn't hold, you can put as many blueberries as possible to present the clownfish. Oh, wow. That's so pretty. So that's like the food for the clownfish? Ooh, and maybe we could put like a decoration at the top. Wait, maybe the yum, 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 yum. Eating. I don't really want to eat. I don't want to eat. So Maya, explain to us what you're doing. So if it doesn't stick, you want to put a little... So what is this? This is their home? The clownfish is home? Yeah. Aww. And this is like, I put the decoration of the end because it has it's a lovely okay. decoration. I'll make that one. <laughs> Mom, look. Oh, you're doing, doing good, so huh? Good. You want to try the one that we made? And you finish eating that bread? Yeah. Yeah. My good. sister loves bread. She loves bread. Okay. Tell us if you is love okay? bread at home too. Comment okay? down below and give this video a big thumbs up. So here's my clownfish. I'm so happy I got to make it and show you, even though I didn't make those ones. That's okay. You okay. can create your own. And, and have can fun I make with another, that. Can I make clownfish too? Sure you can. Because my creation is super good. She's an artist. So anything yeah, you have an artist. Home. Yes. Maya loves to create. And I love and art. Orange. Because clownfish are beautiful and bright. Okay, so this is my creation. Thanks for joining yes. us. We love you so much. Yes, we do. And we want to give you also a recap of all of our underwater sea creatures that we talked about today. Dolphin. Fish. Which their nicknames are orcas. Orca. Sea lion. Clownfish. And what was the last and one? Whale. And whale. And dolphin. That's right. So, we love you. Thank you so, so much. much. Please have a wonderful day and rock paper sisters out. you guys can be here today because today happens to be one of the most beautiful days I have ever seen in my life. In fact, I think today is such a beautiful day, why don't we go out and play some golf? Yeah, golf! It's time to tee it up and play some golf, everybody. Well, before we play some golf, I know some of my friends have been talking to you about animals this week. All kinds of different animals. And I heard 
they were talking about animals that live underwater, in the sea, in the lakes, in the rivers, and in the ponds. Yes. Well, do you want to know something? I was golfing once, like a long time ago, and do you know who was on the golf course hiding in the water? A crocodile. Yes, there was a crocodile. What? What? No, it wasn't a crocodile. No, no, no. It, it was the crocodile's cousin, the alligator. That's what it was. It was an alligator. Yes, I was playing golf, and on the golf course was an alligator. Yes, but apparently he was a very friendly alligator. The only thing he said was, "Don't hit your balls in my pond, Mister. Otherwise, I'm keeping them." <laughs> yep, that's what he said. So today we're gonna play some golf, everybody. Yes, and don't worry, there's no alligators here. <laughs> in fact, I don't even see any water hazards. So before we play golf and before we tee it up, where do you play golf? Does anybody know where you play golf? On a yes, on a golf course, of course. Yes, we play golf on a golf course. Now my next question is: Do you remember what this is? What is this? It's a golf club. That's right. And do you remember all the different parts on the golf club? Well, let's just go over them quickly. This over here is the grip. Yes. Yeah. And that's where you have to hold it. But there's a secret. When you hold the grip, always make sure one hand's at the top and the other hand squishes up together. Yeah, just like that. One at the top and the other one squishes up. That way, you look like a professional golfer. Now the next thing is, what about this yellow part? Yeah, the part you use to hit the ball. Do you guys remember what we called that part? It's the, it's a club face. That's right. Everybody say club face. <laughs> You guys are looking pretty professional over there. Yes, the club face is what she used to hit the ball. Oh, you guys are looking good today. Now my next question is, when you hit the ball, where do you want the ball to go? Do you remember where the ball has to go? It has to go in the in the hole. That's right. The ball goes in the hole. Yes, you guys are good at this. Eh, yes, I know. The hole's far, far away, which makes it hard to get it in. But that's okay. Because the more you hit the ball, the more fun you have. Uh huh. Not bad, eh? Now here's what we have to practice. We have to practice hitting the ball off of the tee. Yes. And what do I use as my tee? Yes. I use one of my pylons. And today, just so I'm getting extra, extra good at this, I'm going to use whoopsie daisies. I'm going to use one of the big balls. Yeah, that ball, just like that. Now let's go over some of the important parts of hitting the ball. When you hit the ball, you have to remember you're hitting the ball on the side. Yeah, you're not hitting it on the top like a wood chopper. <laughs> no, not like a wood chopper. And you're not trying to hit the ball from the back. Uh -uh. You're hitting the ball on the side. So here's the secret: hands together at the top of the grip, open up your feet, and always start with the club face beside the ball. Oh yeah. Never start on your shoulder. That's kind of like a bit baseball. So here we go. Ready? Club face beside the ball. I'm gonna do my story time clock sound. What do my eyes look at? The ball. And I hit the ball with the club face. Oh, you guys want to see me try one? Coming up. All right. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. Ready? Club face beside the ball. Story time clock sound. What do my eyes look at? The ball! Can I hit it? Oh! Did you see that one? <laughs> oh no! I think that one just landed in the pond. Oh no! I hope there isn't an alligator in there. You know what? Let's try that again. Ready? Here we go. Ready? Yep. Ball on the tee. Hey! That's like teeing it up. Here we go. Ready? Open up your feet. Club face beside the ball. Here we go. Story time clock sound. What are my eyes looking at? The ball! And I hit it! Oh! Oh! That landed right on the green. Oh, what a perfect shot that was. Huh? Thank you. Yes, thank you. Let's try that one again. Here we go. Ready? Ball goes on top of the tee. Yep, tee it up. 
Here we go. Open up my feet. Cut face beside the ball. Story time clock sound. And a big hit. Oh, oh. I'm getting, oh. Uh, I think I just sliced that one. <laughs> a slice means it went off to the side, everybody. You don't always want to slice the ball. Well, here's what I was wondering. If you guys get a chance, maybe you guys can practice your golf with somebody. Yes, it's always important when you practice your golf, especially when you're using like a real club, that you practice outside. Yeah, you don't want to be doing this inside. Uh-uh, that would be a disaster. Yeah, oh, that's a lot of fun. Well, you know what? Speaking about animals and having lots of fun, do you know what else is another nice thing to do on a day like today? And it's considered a sport, is fishing. Yes, fishing. Speaking about animals that live under the water or in the sea, fish, fish live in the water. Yes, and they say that fishing is a sport. So, if you go fishing in the ocean, you can catch all kinds of things. Yeah. Did you just say a shark? <laughs> not me. No way, mister. I'm not playing around with no sharks. But different fish live in different places. There's saltwater fish. Yep, they live in the oceans and the sea. And you have freshwater fish that live in the ponds and the rivers and the lakes. Yes, and different fish, yeah, live in different places. So today, why don't we go fishing? But I don't know, I don't think I have a fishing rod with me today. Huh. Hey, maybe I can use my golf club as a fishing rod. Yeah, and maybe my club face, that can be the hook. Yeah, this is what I can catch the fish with. I'll hook myself some fish. <laughs> and what could I use to catch? What would be a good fish around here? Hold on a second, let me just look over here. I, oh, oh, I think I found something. Look everybody, I found my hoops. And do you know what we can do? Maybe this can be the fish. And it's up to me to catch my fish by hooking them with this. I'll show you how it's gonna work. Watch. I'm gonna take this hoop. Do you remember that game I played where I had to catch it with my hands? Well, today, I'm gonna catch it with my golf club, or I should say my fishing rod. And I'm gonna have to hook myself a rolling hoop. That's right. Now, here's the secret. Whenever you hook something like this, you wanna make sure that you go in the middle and lift it up. Did you see how that works? Look it, I go in the middle and lift it up. So here's where it gets really hard. I'm gonna roll the hoop and then I'm gonna have to run and I'm gonna have to hook myself a fish. Okay, here we go, everybody. Are you watching? Here we go. Here it comes. I run and I hook. Ah! Ah, not bad at all. Huh, I think I like this fishing stuff. Let's try another one. Ready? Here we go. Ready? Here it comes. I run and I hook. Ah, not bad at all. What's that? Yeah, I know, it's as big as a shark. Did you just say shark? <laughs> no, I just wanted to catch a little baby fish. All right, let's try that one more time. Ready? Here we go, ready? This one's coming from far. Get ready, everybody. I'm running and I hook. <laughs> yeah, not bad. <laughs> I like this fishing stuff. You know what? On a hot day like today, maybe going down by the water is a good idea. They always say it's cooler by the water. And fishing, even if you don't catch anything, it's a great way to spend time with somebody you care about and pass the day. Huh, I think I'm gonna have to go fishing later on. What, what's that? What about the golfing? Yeah, it was, what? You mean I can't play golf with a big ball? Oh, that's right, I have to play with a small ball. Ah, you're right. Well, oh, look what I found over here. I found my basket of small balls. Yeah, the colored ones. 
I've got a red one, the blue one, the yellow one, the orange one, and last but not least, the green one. Oh, ho. Hey, man, these things are small. This is gonna be hard to hit, you know. Okay, so here's the deal. If you're gonna be hitting a ball that's really, really, really small, the secret is don't hit it as hard as you can, hit it as nice as you can. The nicer you hit it, the better it will go. And where do I want the ball to go? In the, in the hole, that's right. So let's see if we can practice hitting the small ball. Okay, here we go, everybody. Ready? I'm teeing up the ball. Today, we are starting off with the green one. Perfect. Okay, here we go, ready? Two hands at the top of the grip. There we go. Club face beside the ball. Now remember, don't hit it as hard as you can. Hit it as nice as you can. Here we go, ready? Eyes are looking at the ball, and I hit it. Ooh, that was a good one. That was perfect. Huh. Thank you, Mr. Green Ball. Now, let's see. How about the yellow ball? Okay, here we go. Ready? Tee up the yellow ball. Open up your feet. Club face beside the ball. Story time clock sound. My eyes look at the ball and I hit it. Huh. Ball. <laughs> Don't want that to hit anybody. <laughs> All right, now, let's see what's next. Yeah. Ooh, I got a blue one this time. Huh. Let's see how the blue one flies today. Okay, here we go, ready? Club face beside the ball. Story time clock sound. I looking at the ball, and I hit it. Ah. I took my eye off the ball. I was looking at you guys. Sorry. Let's try that again. Ready? Here we go. Club face beside the ball. Story time clock. Eye on the ball. Ha! Ah. Ooh. Ooh. That almost went in the river. <laughs> Let's see what other ones I have in here. Let's see here. Hey. Ooh, a red one. Ha! Huh. I like this one. Here we go. Ready? Club face beside the ball. Ready? Story time clock sound. Eyes looking at the ball. Make it. What? Oh, where did my tea go? Oh boy. Looks like the tea went farther than the ball. <laughs> well, that was silly. That's okay. I have another tea over here. All right. Last color. Let's see what I get. Orange. Yeah. Here we go. Ready? Orange ball, teed up. Club face beside the ball. Story time clock sound. I looking at the ball. Big hit. Far. Oh, oh, that went really far. Oh my goodness, all this golfing and fishing is really getting me hot and tired out here. And you know what? I forgot to bring something with me when I was out here today. I forgot my water. Oh man, that's okay. I'm not far from where I can get some water. But just remember, every time you go outside to play, it's always a good idea to bring some water with you. And if you're really smart, you can even bring a snack. Well, before I finish up today, I have to tell you, the next time we do some golf, I'm gonna have a surprise for you. Yes, it's going to be a different type of golf. Yes, it's still called golf. And you still play it on a course, except it's a little bit different. And things will be flying, flying like the ball, except flying a little different. I'll give you a hint. You have to play it with a Frisbee. Wow. That's right, Frisbee golf. I'm going to see if next time we can play some Frisbee golf. Well, I hope you guys had fun today. And I hope I see you soon. So remember, wash your hands. When you go out, don't forget to bring your water. Bring a snack if you think you might get hungry. And I will see everybody next time. Everybody say bye, Adam. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody.
See you soon. Half, all right. 
You're going to need some food coloring. I've got blue food coloring here because we're going to make our water turn blue like the ocean. You're also going to need some of your favorite ocean animals if you have any. Of course, I have a little shark. You guessed it. I have a little, what's this? Sea turtle. Yes, you guessed it. I have a little starfish. Yes, you guessed it. Now these are just some examples. I've got a lobster. You can use whatever you have. We're going to need, we're going to need those. And also some salt, okay? Some salt. So usually for this experiment, I've noticed that people use rock salt or table salt or sea salt. I used the salt that I had in my home, which happened to be some pink Himalayan salt. I don't know if you can see that in here. See it there? Pink Himalayan salt. All right. I also had some sea salt. You can see it on the bottom here better than in the top. Right? Some sea salt. And then I also had some Epsom salt. I never say that right. Epsom salt. Right? In here. Can you see it under there? And that's all you're going to need. So go ahead and get those items and come on back. Okay, now that you're back, we have our water. I'm going to keep it in here and rather than pouring it in my bowl so you can see the food coloring go in. So I've got my blue food coloring here. We're going to drop it in and see what happens. One, two, oh that's cool. Three, you know what I realized? I didn't bring anything to stir this with. What am I gonna do, what am I gonna do? I think I'll use my finger, but you can use a spoon. <laughs> wow, it turned blue. So cool. Okay, so we've got our water. Take your water and pour it into your bowl. Good job. All in. Awesome. Now you're going to take your sea animals whether it be a shark, drop it in. Yep. Lobster, drop it in. Sea turtle, drop it in. Starfish, drop it in. Oh, that one splashed. And now you're going to put this bowl into the freezer. Now you're probably gonna need some help from an adult. So this bowl has gotta go into the freezer and it must freeze. And when it's done freezing, you can come on back and we're going to get it started. Oh, you're gonna need a spritz bottle filled with water. Cool, I'll see you in a little bit. Welcome back everyone. And we have our sea creatures trapped inside and we have to save them. We have to save them because they're stuck inside of the ice. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our salt because our salt is going to help melt the ice. Now I have a question. Which salt do you predict will melt the ice faster? All right, you make your prediction based on the salts you have, and I'm going to start off with salt number one, sea salt. Let's do it. So I'm gonna take a little bit of sea salt. You can use a spoon. I'm just gonna use my fingers. I like to kind of get into it, and I guess I can tam hands on. Sea salt it is. Let's get some sea salt going on over here. Shall we, shall we, shall we? Okay, that's enough sea salt. Got sea salt right over here. And then I'm going to put some of my pink salt, my pink Himalayan salt, right in the middle here so that I can see a clear distinction between the different salts. Yes, I am. And you're going to do the same. That's right, get it in there. We've gotta rescue our animals, oh my goodness. Let's get a move on. Okay, and then our third salt, anyone remember? The Epsom salt. Let's see what happens here. Put some of this down here. See my octopus friend over here? Come on, I'm gonna get you loose. I'm going to get you loose. We're gonna wait a little bit and see what happens. All right, let's observe. Check it out. Can you hear your ice crackling as it melts? Yes, I can hear mine crackling as it's melting. And look, we're getting closer and closer to saving our underwater animals. See my lobster's making its way out. We're gonna save the starfish too. We're almost there. 
keeping patient. Speed it up a little bit. This is where your spritz bottle comes in handy. You can just start spritzing away to help break them free, help those tiny hands build those fine motor muscles. Yes! Help free them! Spritz, spritz, spritz. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Up, 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 Gotta rescue, gotta rescue the underwater animals. Get them, get them, get them, get them, get them. Now, I gotta tell you, based on my prediction, I would say that I was right. What about you? I thought that the sea salt would melt it the fastest. I wasn't sure. Now it could be because of the way the animals melted under the ice, some were closer to the top, some were further to the bottom. So it was harder to tell, but in my experiments anyways, it was the sea salt. What about yours? What about yours? Which one was it? Anyway, I'll tell you who I rescued. I've got the, remember this is called? The starfish! Funny thing about the starfish, it's not really a fish. It's actually related to sea urchins. So why they call it a starfish, I don't know. But it's a cool fact. Another cool fact, you see these five arms? One, two, three, four, and five. They regenerate. That means if they lose an arm, it'll grow right back. Just like worms. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, starfish. I was also able to rescue the shark. That's right, I was able to rescue the shark. Do, 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 do. Cool fact about the shark, it can see at nighttime. So even when it's really dark and we have a hard time seeing, they can see everything. They have a very sharp sense of smell. That's right, and they're very fast and strong. And an adult great white shark can go through 20,000 teeth in just one lifetime. Wow. Whoa! There's our shark. I was also able to rescue this lobster. Yeah, I rescued the lobster. Lobsters can also regenerate. Do you remember what that means? That's right. They can grow back limbs if they lose a part. Pretty cool. Another cool fact about the lobster is they are cannibals. That means they'll eat each other. If it gets, if they get really, really hungry, they'll go ahead and munch on the other lobster that's right beside it. Yeah. Cool fact though. And they can grow up to four feet long. Have you ever tried a lobster? Mm. <laughs> well, it has been a blast doing this experiment with you. I hope that you enjoyed yourself and keep melting. We still have a lot of underwater animals to save and rescue. Gotta save them all, okay? So get back to work and we're gonna sing our goodbye song, okay? All right, so that's the end of our science experiment for today, learning all about our underwater and rescuing our underwater animals. I hope that you had a blast and remember to think of three things that you're grateful for, okay? Think of three things you're grateful for. Now you can help me sing along in the goodbye song. Clap your hands, stomp your feet, do whatever you gotta do as long as you're moving and grooving. I have my guitar here. Here we go. A one, a two, a one, two, three. It's time to say goodbye.
Hey friends, how are you? Good! I'm Sarah from Community Yoga and I'm so excited to do yoga with you today. Today we're talking all about underwater creatures. Ooh, I'm so excited. You will need one thing for class today, a squishy ball of some sort. And if you don't have a squishy ball, grab a blanket or a pillow. Those two things work perfect as well. Go grab those things and then let's get started. So find your comfy crisscross applesauce. We'll put our ball off to the side for now. Whoop, mine doesn't want to stay. There we go, perfect. And we'll listen for the singing bowl. So sitting up nice and tall. Remember three rings to calm our body. So get your wiggles out if you need to. Get your breath out if you need to. And get that nice tall spine and those nice rooted sitting bones. Amazing. Let's see. One. Two. And three. Oh, can you still hear it? It goes on for a long time, so we have lots of time to settle our bodies. Okay, let's find our breath. Ready? Bring our hands in front of our heart, give them a rub. Let's rub our hands and take a deep breath. Two more. Rub our hands and take a deep breath. <sighs> Last one. Rub our hands and take a deep breath. <sighs> Amazing. I'm ready for yoga. Are you ready for yoga? Yes. Can we stand up and turn into our giraffes for animal week? Remember, our feet are nice and wide. We can stretch our arms out to the side. Oh, big stretch, perfect. And then we get out our giraffe arm, turn our toes the same direction, reach our giraffe head all the way up to the sky. Get those big leaves at the top of the tree so that they can feed their babies and then reach them down to your toes. Amazing. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Can you look up at your other hand? Perfect, and then watch a, that other hand as it brings you up to a nice tall spine. Then we'll switch our feet. Other toes are gonna face this way now. These toes will face forward. Perfect, awesome. Let's get out our big arms and our giraffe head reaching up to the sky and then feeding their babies. Can you look up at your other hand this time? Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind a tree. Then watch that hand as it pulls you all the way up. Perfect. We turn our toes back forward and we hop our feet together. And then we reach up to the sky, big breath in, and then big loud breath out huh, toward our toes. Let's step back into our cobra. So find your plank, let your belly come to the floor, then reach your heart up to the sky. You got it. Maybe look over one shoulder, then look over the other shoulder. Perfect. These little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Time for our downward dog. Remember, we tried it yesterday. Curl your toes under, keep your heart lifted, and then lift your hips up and back, downward dog. <sighs> and you can do whatever feels good in your down dog. Maybe you shake it. Try bending one knee and send your other heel to the floor. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Amazing, come all the way down to crisscross applesauce. You got it. And I changed the words of a song. I found someone who, uh, who thought of a good idea 
because you'll know this song, but it's changed just a little bit to go with some underwater animals. So it's Old MacDonald, but instead of a farm today, he has an ocean. Imagine having a whole ocean. If you live on an ocean or you live on the water, <gasps> I'm so jealous. I wish that I lived on the water. I would go swimming every day. <gasps> yeah, okay. Let's see if we can find our beat first, right? So we go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then let's get our words in, ready? Let's do it. Old MacDonald had an ocean, E-I-E-I-O. And in that ocean he had a, a shark, E-I-E-I-O. Let's turn into a shark, are you ready? So we're gonna come on to our tummies again. Awesome. And we're going to bend one knee and reach back for that foot. You can hold the outside of your foot or the inside of your foot, whatever feels okay. And then our other arm's gonna reach forward and you can put a little snap, 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 a little mouth on it if you'd like. We're gonna kick our, this foot up top into our hand to lift us up to make that big shark fin. And then try and lift your other leg, try and keep your leg straight, try and lift your other arm and get your snap, snap, snap out, perfect. So E-I-E-I-O with a chomp, chomp here and a chomp, chomp there. Here a chump, there a chump, everywhere a chump chump. Old MacDonald had an ocean, E-I-E-I-O. Let's try the other side, because in yoga we try to do both sides, both legs and both arms, to make sure that our bodies feel nice and balanced. So bend your other knee, reach back for that foot. Can you kick that foot into your hand? So grow your shark fin, then lift up your leg and lift up your arm. Chomp, 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 chomp. You got it, chomp, 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 chomp. Good job, take a big breath in, and then breathe out, ah, perfect. Let's find our crisscross applesauce again to find our beat. Ready, and we'll find some other animals. Old MacDonald had an ocean, E-I-E-I-O, and in that ocean he had a crab. E-I-E-I-O. So feet in front of us, hands on the floor beside our hips. We're going to lift our bum off the floor. So this is called the crab walk. We can move around with our hands and our feet and we can go snap, snap. You got it. With a snap, snap here and a snap, snap there. Try a snap, snap by lifting up one foot. Here a snap. Other one. There a snap, everywhere a snap, snap. Old MacDonald had an ocean, E-I-E-I-O. Find your beat again, perfect. Old MacDonald had an ocean, E-I-E-I-O. And in that ocean he had a jellyfish, E-I-E-I-O. Have you seen jellyfish before? I think they're pretty cool looking. I wouldn't want to be stung by one. But they're pretty cool. They're so, they don't have any bones, so they just float around with their jellies. Um, I especially like watching them in Finding Nemo. That's a good one. So let's come onto our backs. This is our jellyfish. We'll reach our legs up to the sky, reach our arms up to the sky. And jellyfish, because they don't have bones, they don't have bones like we do that bend, right? And make us go fast with our muscles and our bones. So jellyfish just float around and they're pretty slow. Can you try not to bend your elbows and bend your knees? Try and keep those arms and legs straight and just float around. Just let them go slow. With a wiggle wiggle here and a wiggle wiggle there. Here a wiggle, there a wiggle, everywhere a wiggle wiggle. Old MacDonald had an ocean, E-I-E-I-O. Hug your knees in towards your heart. Put your hands behind your knees. And remember, we tried this the other day. Watch your head, so keep it curled in and just be gentle. We'll swing our legs back and then forward. Let's do two more. Back and forward. Last one, careful of your head. Back and forward. Perfect, come all the way up to sit. Find your beat. Old MacDonald had an ocean, E-I-E-I-O. And in that ocean he had a starfish, E-I-E-I-O. 
And starfish like to suction themselves. So we're going to come onto our backs, spread our legs out really wide, spread our arms out wide, but keep our hands toward the floor, our palms, so that we can go and we can unsuction ourselves. Perfect. With a can you make that sound like you're pulling something sticky off the ground? Here and a there, here, there, everywhere. <laughs> Old McDonald's had an ocean E I E I O. You can rock and roll again if you'd like by hugging your knees into your chest and swinging your legs back and forward, or you can roll to your side and come all the way up to sit. Perfect. We've got one, maybe two more animals. Let's see. Perfect. Old MacDonald had an ocean, E-I-E-I-O, and in that ocean he had a turtle, my favorite, E-I-E-I-O. So we're gonna put the bottoms of our feet together and then slide our hands in between our legs and under our legs. This is our turtle. Perfect, and turtles like to get down low and then pop out of their shell. Can you do that? So get down low, then pop out. Good job. He, we popped out here and we popped out there. Here a pop, there a pop, everywhere we popped up. Old McDonald's had an ocean, E-I-E-I-O. Okay, last one. Find your beat. Old MacDonald had an ocean, E-I-E-I-O. And in that ocean, he had a boat. So I know it's not an animal. We're going to try our boat pose because we're going to do something in a boat in a minute. So feet in front of us. Hands can go behind our knees. Make sure your back does not touch the floor. Keep it up and your heart proud. Lift up one leg, then lift up the other. <gasps> Amazing. Can you let your arms go out? Perfect. With a row, row here and a row, row there. Here a row, there a row, everywhere a row, row. Old MacDonald had an ocean, E-I-E-I-O. Amazing. Okay, to rest today, we're going to pretend that we're in a boat. That's where your squishy ball or your blanket or your pillow will come in handy. So grab your squishy ball if you have it, or if you have a blanket, fold it so that it gets pretty high. Or if you have a pillow, you're just gonna sit on your pillow. So I'm gonna sit on my squishy ball, which feels weird because it makes me whoo, move from side to side a little bit, like I'm in the ocean. Yeah. So our legs are still crisscross applesauce if that feels good, but we're closing our eyes and maybe we're swaying a little from side to side. Ooh, it makes me feel tricky. Hands can just go on our, in our lap or on our thighs, on our legs, just to help us feel comfortable. Try to keep your eyes closed and we're going to use our hearing. So just like if we were in the boat in the middle of the ocean, we'd want to be listening for the shore, for people listening for how far land is. So I want you to close your eyes and try and stretch your hearing, your listening as far as it will go. Like we're fishing for sounds. So listen for a sound that's so far away. Try and get your hearing as far as it will go. If you're near a window, you might hear some of the sounds outside. Like I can hear birds chirping. I can hear cars going by. I think I hear an airplane. What can you hear? Wow, you have such good listening ears. And then we're going to see if we can take our hearing a little bit closer to us, closer to our chime. So see if you can hear the chime. We'll focus all of our hearing on the chime. Keep your eyes closed and maybe you're still swaying from side to side on your squishy ball or your pillow or your blanket. And then just like if we were on a boat, we'd want to pay attention to how we're feeling. So the chime has called us back. 
can you start to bring your listening inside your body? So listen to your breath. Maybe you feel your heartbeat. Bubble, bubble, bubble. And then listen to what your body is trying to tell you. How is it feeling today? Oh, mine's feeling really sunny today. It makes me feel so happy and calm. Perfect. Blink your eyes open. Blink, blink, blink. How are you feeling today? So good. Okay, let's thank our bodies. Let's rub our hands. Find your head. Can you say thank you, mind? Rub our hands. Find your heart. Thank you, heart. Rub our hands. Great big squeeze. Thank you, body. Friends, thanks so much for coming out to do yoga with me today. I hope you learn lots of things about all the underwater animals that everyone else is talking about today. And I'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Bye. together. Now in today's literacy lesson, we are learning all about underwater animals. Can you guys say that with me? Underwater animals. Great job everybody. Now I think of many different types of underwater animals when I think of the ocean. How about you? Can you think of some? If you can think of some, can you tell me now? I'd love to hear it. Great. Amazing. Wow. Wonderful answers, everybody. You know a lot of different water animals. Now, I have a few with me today, and I want to show you. Are you guys ready? If you're ready to meet my underwater animals, can you put your thumbs up and nice and loud, can you guys say, I'm ready. Awesome, everybody. So let's get started. The first underwater animal that I want to introduce you to is my friend over here. Can everybody see? What do you think this animal is called? If you know the answer, you can tell me and your friends next. Awesome, that's right. This is a fish. And fish starts with the letter F. Can you guys say that with me? The letter F. Awesome, everybody. Now I have another friend to show you. Are you guys ready to see who it is? My next friend is this friend right over here. Can you guys see over here? If you think you know what this underwater animal is called, you can tell me now. Amazing! 
This is an octopus. An octopus starts with the letter O. Absolutely amazing, my friends. You know a lot about underwater animals. Now I'm gonna show you my next friend. Are you guys ready to see? I'm gonna reach over here and I'm gonna show you who thinks you know what this underwater animal is. If you know this answer, you can tell me now. Amazing! This is a shark. And shark starts with the letter S. Can you guys say that for me? S. Amazing. So we have a fish. We have an octopus. And we have a shark. So now I like to do a little word search with each and every one of you. It is one of my favorite literacy activities to do. So I'm going to hold up my word search for you guys. And when you see the word that I'm looking for, you can tell me where it is. I want you to give it a big point. Does that sound good, everybody? So I'll move my animal over. And here's my word search. Can everybody see? I have some words and I have some letters. Can everybody see? Awesome. Now the first word that I'm looking for is the word octopus. Maybe it's this way. Maybe it's that way. Maybe it's on this side. Do you guys think you see the word octopus anywhere? If you do, can you point to it now? Amazing! That's right! The octopus is right over here on the side. So I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to give octopus a big circle around it. Absolutely amazing, my friends. Now are you ready to see my next word? Because I'm looking for the word fish. I see lots of different letters and I also see the word. Do you think you see the word fish on my piece of paper? It starts with the letter S. If you think you see it, can you point to it right now? Amazing! The word fish is right at the top over here. Amazing, everybody. So again, I'm gonna take my marker and I'm going to circle the word fish. Wow, we found the word octopus. We found the word fish. Now I wanna look for the word that says shark. Maybe it's written in big letters or maybe it's written really tiny. That was my hint. Do you think you see the word shark anywhere on my page? If you do, can you point to it now? Awesome! That's right! I wrote the word shark very little on the bottom of my page. Amazing, my friends. You are really great at searching for words. So now that I've circled the word shark, I need us to find my last sea animal. Does anybody see it here? <gasps> Amazing. I wrote the word jellyfish. Absolutely amazing, my friends. And the word jellyfish starts with the letter J. Can you guys say that with me? The letter J. Amazing. So I'm going to put my paper down. I'm going to take my marker. And let's circle jellyfish together. Amazing, my friends. We found jellyfish. We found fish. We found octopus. And right at the very bottom, we found shark. Amazing, my friends. Now, I want to do one more literacy activity with you. 
Are you guys ready? Because this is also one of my favorite things to do. I love tracing my letters in loose parts. Can you guys say that with me? Loose parts. And today, I have different sea animals as my loose parts. So I'm going to show you what I have here. I have an octopus. I have a seahorse. I have, ooh, look at this one. I have a shark. I have a whale. I have a little fish over here. Can you guys see? And I have a little piece of seaweed that we see in the ocean. I have so many different sea animals in my home. And we're going to work together to count. How many sea animals is it going to take to fill my letter? Does that sound good, everybody? Because I know you're super awesome at counting. So the first letter I have is O. Can everybody see my O? O for octopus. So let's take my loose part. And let's see how many sea animals it takes to get a rat. Ready, everybody? Let's get counting. One, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, and lastly, I'll use my little fish, ten. Can everybody see? It took ten sea animals to get around the letter O. O for octopus. Amazing, everybody. Are you guys ready to see my next letter? If you are, I'm going to clear these off super quickly and I'm going to show you what's next. The next letter that I want us to trace is the letter J. J for jellyfish. See everybody? My J has one line at the top. One straight line at the bottom going down and a curvy line at the end. This is the letter J for jellyfish. Now are you guys ready? Set, go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, and eight. Wow, everybody. It took eight sea animals to fill up my J. Can you guys say that with me? J for jellyfish. J for jellyfish. Amazing, everybody. Now, I have another letter, and I want to show you what this one is. Are you guys ready to see it? If you're ready, can you give me two thumbs up? And nice and loud, can you say, I'm ready! Amazing. So, the next letter I have is an S. Can everyone see my S? S for shark. And I have my shark right over here. Now are you guys ready to put your letter down and count with me? I want to see how many sea animals it's going to take to fill this S. Ready everybody? Let's do it together. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, and eight. It took eight sea animals to cover the S. S 
for sharks. Absolutely amazing, my friend. You know all your numbers, you know all your sea animals, and you are really good at counting. Absolutely amazing, everybody. Thank you for joining me today for our literacy lesson. I had so much fun learning about all the different underwater animals with you. I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye. Steady. One, two, three. Your name is. Wow! That was so loud. I heard you all the way over here, and you're all the way over there. Good work. Wow. Well, this week we're learning all about animals. We talked about animals at the zoo, zoo, zoo. How about you, you, you? Yes. We also learned about animals at the Farm. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And today we're going to be talking about animals in our homes. What are those animals called that we have in our homes? Let me give you a hint. Where are they? Oh yeah. <laughs> are these animals in our home? <laughs> I hope not. No, no, no. Put those to the side. Animals in our home are called pets. Yes, indeed. Now, I don't have a pet. If you don't have a pet, that's perfectly okay. We can still learn about them and have fun and dance about them too. I have some pets over here though. They're not real. Hello, I have my little dog and my cat. Yes, dogs and cats are types of pets in people's homes. Also fish. <laughs> so we're gonna do a really fun dance about a pet. I love this song, it's just so much fun. But before we do that, we have to do our warm up dance. That's right, find a spot in the room where you have lots of space, no one's gonna bump into you or you won't bump into anything else or anyone else. And we can stretch our bodies, say, hit it, Mrs. Marcus. Here we go. Again, in, out, 
a great job. Well, let's do our dance from before. We're going to the zoo. Let's just go over it quickly. So we go over to the left side and we point to the left. Yes, we're going to the zoo. Step behind. How about you? Number two. Two. We're going to the zoo. And zoo, yes. And then we add our elephant. If you want to do just the arms, just do the arms. And make a roller coaster. Woo! A circle. So good. And woo! Other way. The next animal is the monkey. Woo, woo, woo. You know what to do. And don't forget, we can stay all day. The next one is the bear. And the final animal is the seal. Catch those fish. Go. Go. Yes. And we say, but we can stay all day. And we do our whole chorus. The zoo. How about you? Come to zoo, zoo. Two times, twice, and that's it. Okay, super fun and super fast. I always say super fun because it is super fun. <laughs> Let's try music. Say hit it, Mrs. Marcus. All right. The zoo gate open and we march in. Oh yes, around yourself. Here we go. Going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. How about you? So good. You, you, you can come too, too, too. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. Elephant. See the elephant. And the round. Swinging, great big ears are moving. Swinging, snapping up peanuts with long open. together. So our feet go open sesame, right? Open sesame, toes open, heels together. And we do a plie with our knees, bend, make a diamond. And we bring our arms up, up and down. Up and down. E-I, E-I, oh. Then we jump together. It's super quick. And on that farm he had a, whatever animal it is. E-I, E-I, oh. Then we say the animal. With our hands, oh yes, here a ba, there a ba, everywhere a ba, ba, jump feet together. Old McDonald had a fun, e i e i yo. Then the cool fun part is we go skip to the left, skip to the right, skip around in a circle to do it all the way again. It's not really a skip, it's like a skip, step, together, step, skip, step, together, step, skip, step, together, step. And then in a circle. That's it. And we do it again. Old McDonald had a farm. Old Mc McMarcus. Actually, I had a student and called me McMarcus. It's true. It's okay. 
it was super, super cute and super fun. And I always say super fun. I don't know why. It's my new word, I guess. Let's do old McDonald. Here we go. Oh, say hit it, Mrs. Marcus. Here we go. Old McDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, we had some sheep. E-I-E-I-O. With a baba here and a baba there. Here, ba, there, ba, everywhere, ba, ba. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Let's go. Hops in. Other way. Circle. <laughs> again, again. Here we go. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had some pigs. E-I-E-I-O. With an oink oink here and an oink oink there, a ba ba here and a ba ba there, Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. Hops up, super step. Other way. All right. Yippee! So good. Here we go. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. And on that farm he had some ducks. E I E I O. to our pet song. I love this song. You're gonna love it too. Go to sleep tonight singing about this song. It's true. It goes, I had a pet, or if I had a pet, I can't see how it goes. I have a pet, yes, I have a pet. I love it all day, cuddle all day, I have a pet. Yes, let's just do it. I, I'm not a good singer. So, jump your feet out, hand on your hip, and other hand is free, hello. And pretend your pet is on the ground, nice and low. And you pat, 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 and cuddle and cuddle. Oh, so nice. Try it again. Take your left hand and we pat, 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 cuddle and cuddle. Now other hand, right hand. So right hands up, left hands on our hips. And we go pat, 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 call my own. Say with me or me, call my own. I had a pet, then we say I love it all day, around, like your arm is the arm on a clock, around and around, but only one time. I love it all day, then we take our arm. So please, other arm, get me, take your number one, one, circle, two, day. Holy moly, what was that? So we just did, I had a pet, I cuddle and hold, I had a pet to call my own. I had a pet. I love it all day. Now, right arm. So please, left arm, get me. Finger, one, circle, two, day. And we go, can you make that noise? We go to the side, other side. And then you say, hmm. Make your hmm face, hmm. And again. And again, hmm, and again, hmm, and then they say an animal. I think the first one is a dog. Come here, doggy, dog here. Whoop, 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 Yes, anything you want to do about a dog. You have a floppy tail, you can have floppy ears, floppy ears, you can have little paws. Whatever you want to do is perfectly fine. And we do the chorus, the part that repeats. I have a pet. To cuddle and hold, I have a pet to call my own. 
I had a pet. I love it all day. So please get me one today. Yeah, and then we do the next animal. We get to act as the next animal. It's a really fun dance. You get to do some drama with it too. You get to act out what it looks like. Okay, say hit it, Mrs. Marcus. Here we go. have a line in your house? I don't think so either. All right, it's that time again. It's time to go. But I had so much fun with you and I want to dance with you again next time. So come back and join me. Let's do our goodbye, our cool down. Be together. All right, so on a holiday. No holidays. Let's be animals. Let's be our doggy with floppy ears. today and I hope you come back so we can dance again next time. We learned about farm animals and animals at the zoo and then we learned about pets. But next time you'll find out more. Drum roll. I can't tell you now. It's not next time. I'll see you next time. Thank you for moving it with Mrs. Marcus. Okay. See you next time. Bye.